Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> I'm about to react to some uh stuff, uh podcasts. Uh it's like all these girls and stuff and they talk about what they think about a woman and you know you got guys there that's you know what they think about a man. Um I'm just showing y'all what I watch and shit, you know. Let me know if y'all fucking with it, bro. And I'll do more of it, you know. Uh Right now, we about to go ahead and get into it. Go ahead and get y'all snacks. Uh, we about to catch a vibe. And uh, right now, I'm in a garage, so, you know, I can't be in the house, you know, my baby. I can't be doing, you know, what I do and shit. So, let's get in. Let's, let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Damn. So, if you hear my dog barking, don't, don't let that be the problem. Okay, Miss Comedian. You know, you know what? And you know what about Mr. Organic though is that we literally had a conversation before the camera started, and he's like, "Chill as fuck." It's not like he's like, "Yo, my million." It's like we had a conversation. He answered questions. He was cool as shit. He was like, "Yo, I'm a homebody." Like he was just chill. So it it doesn't come up. You know, I don't know how it comes off. I don't know how it came off in the podcast, but you know what I mean. He was still down. Hey, that boy okay, looks fresh as hell. I don't know about the grill, the green you beard though. I mean, I like. Green. <laughs> Okay. Um, you know what turns me the fuck on? A guy that I this is so nerdy, but it's so fucking true. A guy that I can fucking laugh with. Like I love being on a date and I was in the I remember being in the car and I didn't want to get out of the car because we're just fucking shooting the shit and talking and he's making me laugh. And even it's not like he has to be like a stand-up comedian, because once I told my friend, I was like, I'm really into funny guys, and she sent me out with this dude who was like, but um like every Bro, you talk too fucking much. I'm sorry. Damn. It's it haven't been a what? A fucking it have been two minutes of so you talking too fucking much. God shut the Free fuck three up. Seconds. I was like, Why no, it's not about that. Shit, yeah, huh? it's like, dude, chill. <laughs> but it just that sense of humor, that banter, that wittiness that you can go back and forth. And I remember being in the car, it happened recently, and I was like, I don't want to get out of the car because this is so fucking cool. Like, he's so yeah. chill. And fuck, that shit is good vibes. 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 This was, we had hung out three times before, actually. Three times yeah. prior? So Did he show date. the funniness on the first date or later on? No, he was funny from the beginning. <laughs> he was funny from the beginning? Yeah, but not, you know, the first time we ever hung out, it was like four of us. Mm -hmm. So you can you can show that off, but it's easier when you're coming off of other people's banter. But so when you're one-on-one, on one, I think it's harder, so right? The, the, so the first date, you, you guys went out like on a friend's date, four other people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, was, did you like suggest that? No, no, no. He suggested the four, that? The four date? No. Hey, bro, y'all peep this girl right here on the on the motherfucking left side. The second left side. You see my mouse right there? Her eyebrows are bushy than a motherfucker. Friend, just friends that wanted us to be mutual. You see yeah. her eyebrows, okay, bro? So you guys met in, like, uh, I guess Look. this situation where they were mutual friends. Yo, look at this bitch's eyebrows. That's, that's, that's too bushy, bro. I, I... I don't know what the fuck that is. Friends there or whatever. Mm. Yes. They say you guys gotta meet. Okay. But like you yeah, got two you brooms like on each side. No. Not at all. No. Not okay. At all. The second day you guys hung out one on one. The third date. You guys didn't hang out one on one until the third date. Yeah. God Why did yeah. you guys hang out one on one on the second date? Because the second time we saw each other. Hey, see, see what I'm talking about? Hey, look at the caption. Look at the. Hey, look at the little uh, comments right there. He said bushy eyebrows, cutie cute. Wow, what the fuck? Like I mean, she ain't that cute. Because the like second damn, time, uh, I invited him to my birthday. I'm fucking like, caveman. For my birthday. A little bit. And it's, I was like, I was kind of like, I really, like, I don't know. And so my friends were like, well, just, I was like, you know what? And let me just invite him to my birthday. And see okay, how that goes. so quick, uh, I gotta ask the hard question. Did you fuck him on the second time that you met him? No. You didn't? No. On the third time? No. Okay, guys, that's why you don't be a fucking clown with women. Get your ass around each other. Third date? Let me say why. I Ali Wong, I don't know if you guys bro. have heard this before, but I, this is just a me thing. I, if I really like a dude, I don't want to immediately have sex with him. No, it's true. Wrong. Don't do that. Wait, I why is it it's because I'm really vulnerable. All of a sudden, now I care if he calls again. You know, Never if I don't care, I'm just rule. like, fuck it. I'm just really horny. Just okay, uh, question. Um, what you said you're a uh, comedian, kind of, right? Somewhat, yeah. Okay, Act. 
if Karen Hart walked in this room right now and said, hey, let's smash, would you say, oh, I gotta wait or something like that? Doesn't Kevin Hart, like, cheat on everything that was? Yeah, but th that's not what I asked. <laughs> we just said, would you fuck him if he said, if he walked in here? Dave Chappelle. There you yeah, go. if you walked in here right now, would you smash him? <laughs> yeah, you would. So the point I'm trying to make is... No, I want it because I'd be like, I want to marry Dave. Like, I want to be Dave's wife. So I'm a play art ticket. I don't know. I honestly don't know what I would do. You would probably... You would probably... eat that. Show fuck. You see the way she acting? Show fuck. That's the... First of all, if it were Dave Chappelle, which, hello, um, I would be like, oh my God, I just... It's weird. I know it sounds Look nerdy, you and you guys are like, up. I can hear your eye, eyes rolling, but it's just that kind of fucking thing that you're like, this connection is so fucking cool. I no, because once wanna... you have sex, it changes everything, it changes and it yeah. gets more That's physical, it. and it goes so much in each other. Can, can I just physical? say, this is Correct. another reason why I like to wait, is because the sex is so much yes, fucking better. Because okay. you so just have that thing. Yeah. If Gabby, <laughs> if Dave Chappelle walked in, Gabby and Dave Chappelle, would have a banter, fucking laugh conversation. Like, she would me. literally orgasm from the laughter. Yes. That they were. So, <laughs> ladies, okay, so I'm, I'm going to say my piece now because you guys said yours. Please. Wait, 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 can I say my turn off? You, uh, well, hold on, let me, we'll address that next. <laughs> but the, the thing is this, because I wanted to really, like, illustrate something here. You yeah. said, I like, I'm turned on by a guy that makes me laugh, mm -hmm. right? You gave a politically correct answer about what turns you on. Mm -hmm. I want a guy that makes me laugh. A lot of women say that. But then I asked you, when have you got? Did you guys have sex on three prior meetings? Meeting, and you said no. Mm -hmm. And ladies, I hate to sound like an asshole, but this podcast is for men, and we teach guys all the time. Teach them that, quite frankly, women aren't very honest about what they're aroused by. They're mm -hmm. honest about what they like, but they're not honest about what they're aroused by. Right. Because if we switch it around, hey, Dave Chappelle walks in here, would you smash him? Uh, uh. That's a yes. And the thing is this. Because I would want to some date guys, Dave Some guys, but you dated this guy too. <laughs> so the point is this. There's rules for some guys and there aren't rules for others. So the thing is, is that we got to educate men and let them know. And this, I hate to make it like, oh, I'm going to use you as a guinea pig to illustrate this. But guys, this is a textbook example of a woman tells you one thing, but she's aroused by something else. And that guy fucked up by being a funny, nice guy. Because what happened mm -hmm. is he made it very apparent that he's willing to wait for sex from you. If a, Which was such a turn on. No, it is not, because yeah. you did not fuck him. Well, what you say and what happens are two different things. But we did eventually, and it was so... I was about to ask you. But the point is this. The point is this. Okay, I'll give you an example. Let's say you go to the Gucci store tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You find a bag for uh, $1,000. Like, damn, this thing is only $5,000. This is awesome, right? You buy it. You think you got a discount, right? Then you come in the next day, and you find out your friend got the bag for $100. And you go to the receptionist, you're like, what the fuck? I want, a, I want a refund. I want to get that credit back on that $900 that I spent. Right? And then they tell you, no, we're not giving you a credit because they only pay $100. You got to pay $1,000 no matter what. How'd that make you feel? Damn. Uh, I'm kind of confused. Yeah, yeah, I'm so confused. Damn, all these bitches are stupid. You go to the Gucci That's store. That's not a turn on my uh, Cool. I'm not trying to make it. <laughs> no, so, the, the point. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to illustrate something here. If you go Can I illustrate? Can I help? Because I think I, I get where your question is going at. But I think you confuse the, how quick I want to sleep with someone with my interest in them. No, the point is this. You know what I mean? Because uh, so if I'm really interested in a guy, I am going to want to wait because I want it to be more spe like more felt like the little. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Well, not if it makes you want him to be your boyfriend. What makes your pussy wet is what yeah. he's asking. Talk no, to him, yeah. 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 Your answer is yeah. like, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so what makes your boyfriend wet? Because for me, it's the same thing. If you really it. turn me on, like if you really turn me on, I really want you to be my boyfriend. You know no, what I mean? No, 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 no. Listen, the point is this. You made, you made one guy pay more for a Gucci bag that someone else paid nothing for, is what but, I'm trying to say. Uh, who paid because whether for my you guys Gucci want to accept bag. it or not, whether, whether women want to accept it or not, men time. always look at it like, I'm doing all this to get sex while this dude didn't do nothing. Yeah. But how do you know that other dudes did nothing? Because you know. You know. Yeah, you know. You know. You know what's last time. You know guys are talking like that. Sure. Sure. We, but you know, sure. we, we talked before the podcast, and I was a like, girl. they're never going to believe it, but I've actually, like, I've never had a one-night stand. I've never had a first date. Oh, oh, so I know. I sound like I'm That's sick of shit. The point is this. Even if you've never had a one-night stand, the fact of the matter is this. There's guys that have not had to take you on multiple dates like that to get sexual access, whereas this guy has. 
Now, whether women want to accept it or not, no one wants to pay more for something that other people get at a cheaper price. That's why I use the Gucci bag thing. Right. You'll be pissed as fuck at that reception and say, I want a refund, give me back 900 because I paid 1000 and someone else got it for 100 The receptionist is going to look at you and be like, no, that's your price. You got to pay 1000 they get it for so 100 So for the men watching, what would be your advice to sleep with me quicker? You don't. What is your advice instead of being there's, a nice there's, guy? There, you you oh, don't be a nice guy. guy. Or like a good conversation. The fact life. that he showed up to your birthday party and you still didn't fuck him tells me off rip that you you were not so aroused by him. So I was supposed to fuck him right. that mm -hmm. night, the night of the birthday party? Birthday sex, what the fuck? I think it depends yeah. on the situation. Yeah. 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 Bro, ain't nothing better than, be like, oh my God. <laughs> ain't nothing better than birthday sex. I tell you that. The shit that she's saying is fucking cap. Come on, bro. Like, I'm not trying to pause this so much, but, I, you know, I don't want to talk so much about this, but this bitch talk too much, and the guy fresh or whatever, uh, whichever one is fresh or fit, this guy right here, he's making sense, bro, and you just not understanding what he's trying to say. No, so then I'm actually curious what would have achieved, what would have helped him achieve success quicker, because I, can I just say, like, there were other men pursuing at the same time and yep. none of them got there because Ooh. they were trying to impress Go me girl. with things that weren't impressive mm. do you know what i mean and it's like okay kind of bullshit 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 good looking but no and then this guy that i just did not want to um fuck i wish i could like can i speak in spanish no yeah. um th that i didn't that i wanted to be like attached by the hip i was like holy shit i'm really attracted to this dude like i'm so attractive and he wait did you just say can i speak spanish and he's still speaking English. Bro, what the fuck? Won them out. You know what I mean? Connection. The other. Won that person. Did he become your first I don't know if that's the guy. I can't see your face. I guess it depends on the thing. guy and like what he's looking for. Because no. there's some guys who will say, you know what, she's worth the wait. And there's some guys who say, yes. you know what, let me just go to the next. Yes. Well, and I have guys that was happening. We can wait it out. We can wait it out. And fuck you and still say fuck you at the end. We can fuck you and then say fuck you. It is never worth the wait. No, but I think it's all depending on the situation. I think it's depending on the guy. The situation also. How vulnerable are you? How heartbroken are you? How horny are you? No. How much what, are you he, what he should have you done, want? right, is said, fuck your birthday. Just mm -hmm. keeping a cap. Take you out only, just you and him, right? Okay, which, yeah, which happened after the birthday. Yeah, Go yeah. to like a, a club, get some yeah. drinks, seduce you, talk to you a little bit nicer, you know what I'm saying, behind the scenes, whisper in your ears, sweet, sweet nothings. I'm just confused. And then, the sweetest of the sweet. And then, you know what I'm saying, yo. I'm just confused I got as a cool, to why that is better than what hold happened. Hold on, I got a cool comedian show at my house. Come through to my house real quick. I got Dave Chappelle over. Let's talk real quick. I got Dave Chappelle like a queen. We laugh. So no, hold on. I got Dave Chappelle over. You get to laugh like you want to. It's, you know, low lighting, good music. And we fuck. Okay, but so, can I ask you yes. a question? So we all win. Why, like is it, why is it worth <laughs> less to you guys? Because that, and maybe I'm, correct me if I'm wrong. This is what I'm getting. Why is it worth less because it didn't happen the way that you tell your audience that it should happen? Or why how is fast. it worth less because the, or how fast? Why is, why is that right? more value worth less? I'm actually If curious. I know Dang. that you're intentionally holding back just to, to keep me, I don't want you. Because now, you now, if, if, okay, you know what? If you said to me, you know what? I want to hold back because this, this, and this, and this. I understand that, but at the same time, like you forcing you doing it, just, just to like get, get I, me some long I hold back. Do you want to know the honest truth? Is because like when I like someone, it's much more vulnerable. I care much more. So it's not about like I'm gonna play hard to get to see if he. Can, that is fucking bullshit, and I hate those games. And it's just like not, not the way I roll. But that's but literally it really what you just was, said. No, but it really was like I really like the this guy. Like he gets to know him. Wait, so you guys expect like, to fuck on the first date every time you take a girl? Oh, getting oh, all right, hold on, no, no, no. I'm gonna take this one. Wait, hold on. You know, I've been listening very intently, and this proves everything that we talk about on this podcast. Women will leverage sex against you if they know they can get away with it. They will do that. The only reason that you did that was because you knew his dumb ass would wait. He showed up to your birthday party where you control the, uh, the how things go because it's your birthday party. He's at a disadvantage from a romantic standpoint because he's got to operate in your world. Right. And that was where he lost. Let me finish, please. So yeah, the sure. thing is this. You guys don't like to forfeit leverage when it comes to dealing with men. You want to be able to hold the cards and be like, no, well, you know what? I'm going to hold out on sex. I'm going to fuck them when I'm ready. But we're going to tell you ladies right now, Damn. most women, when they date, they date where I want to make sure I get out what I want out of it, attention, resources, time, etc. We tell guys not to do that because the thing is this, 
When women have the leverage in sex, it's an L for both parties. Because let me tell you all something right now. Guys that have options ain't going to fucking wait around on the third date. Nope. You think if you go out with future Drake, you say, oh, I, I don't, I'm not feeling it right now. You know what they're going to do? They'll be like, bruh, like seriously? Nice, nice. Your feet. Get the fuck out of here. For sure. Guys that have options don't tolerate BS from women leveraging sex for some kind of compliance. And that's exactly what you did. Okay, so can I ask you something? So me saying that I feel vulnerable and I want to get to know this guy and then I'm like in this like... Is that, how is that leveraging or fucking, okay, so that's my question number one. How is that leveraging or fucking with someone? But also, secondly, I have done that where I, like, meet a guy and I'm like, oh, my God, this guy seems really cool. Let me see if I can get to know him. And he's like, no, nah, bitch, I'm just running a bug. And, like, by day Shut two, up, if yeah. it doesn't happen, he, Loyalty, and there's, but there's, that's I not, that I don't get he's offended real, by though. that. He's yeah, keeping it real. Keeping it real. Yeah. I don't get offended by that. But I do feel like. Fuck it, this guy, like, what I assume or would hope that what happened with this dude is that he enjoyed my company, too. And I'm going to be honest with you, with the with the birthday and everything, and, like, even everything that happened prior, it wasn't like he was like, can we have sex? And I was like, no. It just didn't happen. It's so bizarre. I mean, it's bizarre. It's a situation. situation. It's a situation. Yeah. Yeah. So like can I, said, finish, can I just finish my question? Because I, I want you to enlighten is me Is it a as question well. that sounds more like a statement? No, and so my mm. other question is, why, again, because I, I feel like I haven't gotten an answer, why is your approach the only valid approach to get to a girl as opposed to what I because just said? Because if you leave it to a woman's devices, you're going to do exactly what you did. Can I finish my question? Because so when you tell question? a guy, yeah, but it, I, because I want you to finish explaining. So, because when you tell a guy, this is the way to do it, and if they don't fuck you on the second date, they fucking suck, and they're awful, and they're manipulators, and if that's the only road that these guys are willing to take or allowed to take, what happens to all the other variety of, like, fucking things that can happen in life to these guys to get a girl? Because the problem is when you put women in the driver's seat of when sex is going to happen, you're going to take a loss as a man, period. Guys, so you guys both are gonna people do, be in the driver's seat? Can you let me finish now? No, it shouldn't be both people in the driver's seat because women aren't built to lead. Men are. <laughs> men lead, women follow. You guys, you guys are 1,000% incapable of leading men within the confinements of any relationship that's been in every biblical text, Islamic text, Judaic text. Like, women aren't built to lead. So when you're in the driver's seat and you're driving this, this, the relationship, it's an automatic loss. So we tell guys, you need to be in the driver's seat. And to be in the driver's seat, you need to basically ensure that you're always pushing towards sex and getting it out of the way as quickly as possible. Because this is what happens. You end up like this guy, nice guy, funny, etc. I'm turned on by this. But your actions showed otherwise. You leveraged sex against him for three different occasions. You didn't fuck him on the third time. And honestly, you might not understand this, but men, we have to invest time, resources, attention, etc. to give you guys what you want. Women want attention, men want sex. The problem is this. Women are very good at getting attention and resources from men without giving up sex. So we teach guys how to play the game that you guys play, leveraging sex to try to get some kind of compliance. So we tell guys, the way you're going to beat women at that, and I shouldn't be exposing all this, but I will anyway, yeah, yeah. You, need to get, you need to get sex quickly from women <laughs> to get it out the way, because once you have sex with a girl as a man, you get the leverage. That's why women don't like fucking quickly, because right. they know, once I fuck you, it's, it's incumbent upon you to keep me. And Wait. let's keep it a stack. Okay. Most of them ask you a question. Oh, and oh, so why oh, does... Hold on, I didn't want to say something. God damn, you've been talking all the time. Yeah, I really want to say something. But, 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 me listen, too. And the main thing too, my guy, and what you need to understand is, see the whole what it boils down to, what we all need to know behind closed doors with all us guys know, you're looking for a relationship, you're looking for pussy. So he doing all these dating and shit, he really ain't trying to be your boyfriend. He Next. just want to fuck yeah. you. So he really faking the whole time. He's telling mm -hmm. these good uh, jokes, he probably looking up online, getting the good jokes. He really ain't trying to be with you like that. He's trying to fuck you. He's doing whatever he can, trying to be the funniest motherfucker right. in the world just to get that pussy. Trying to tell you, you want a relationship, you want pussy. It's totally different objective. And, and once so that's what got no, man, no man wants a relationship. The, the woman. majority of them don't. But here's they what happens. If you do, he's still going to fuck other pussy but, anyway. So. But that's the difference right, in your logic. Let me just finish my point. It's the angle. It's the angle you want at the end. Let me just finish my point. The point I'm trying to make is is that once the girl has sex with the guy, she loses leverage. And women don't like not having leverage when it comes to relationships with men. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So once you lose the leverage, it's on you to keep the guy. A guy game is getting the girl. Girl game is keeping the guy post sex. And a lot of women don't like having having to have the burner perform. All right, guys. So I'm gonna end it right there. Yo, y'all tell me if y'all fucking with this, bro. Because, hey, man, some guys. I mean, some of my viewers, or you know, are mostly male. Uh, for you ladies too. This is for y'all too, man. Uh, <clears throat> you know, us guys. We might be trying to get, you know, trying to figure out.
the ways and you know what other women think and shit and this is what we see right now you feel me it's crazy how this girl right here in the green dude she was talking the whole fucking way like the whole fucking the whole fucking uh what 17 minutes you've been fucking talking constantly rambling what the fuck are you talking about like dude like i'm not going on a third date with you you know what i'm saying like you got me fucked up You got me fucked up. Ain't no fucking way I'm gonna go on a third date. I mean, fourth date, uh, third date with you. Yeah, I'm constantly hearing this fucking rambling. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Uh, yeah, let me know if y'all fucking with this, bro, for real. Cause I be wonder how you know other women be thinking and shit. My girl, my wife. She got common sense. I fuck with her a hundred percent. She real, and she don't do all that fucking talking. So, like, share, subscribe. Boy, I'm fucked up. If you knew.